Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to Scramble Battle of Britain. This is a game that is published by Slytherin, and it has just come out into early access with a bunch of new features since the last time I showed it off. This game is a turn-based dogfighting game set during the Battle of Britain. In the scenario, we have three Spitfires going up against a lot of German aircraft. We have three ME-109s up high and two Stukas at co-altitude. This is also a mission in the brand new squadron leader campaign mode. So we have all of our pilots here. They all have different qualities and qualifications, uh, which is pretty darn cool. And they will gain experience as they survive the battle. Let's go ahead and start the match. And now handling this is going to be pretty tough. I kind of want to split off and go and try to engage those Stukas right off the bat and maybe just get the heck out of here before the 109s really have a chance to do much damage. So to do this, we are going to have our spits turn in towards those Stukas. I suspect they will be maintaining a straight line. We could have one of our Spitfires climb up. We can see we can adjust the throttle. We can order a spit to shoot. This little black line shows that we are going to be losing a good amount of energy doing that particular maneuver. And the cool thing about this game is you really want to try to plan, you know, two, three moves ahead. So we're going to ease on into the turn, hopefully get on the six of those Stukas and then just light them up right off the bat. Let's take a look at our Stuka friends. Okay, they may actually go for the ship. I'm not sure if they're going to try to do that. We can see their projected path. This is not exactly what they are going to do, though. They could change, but if they maintain their current speed and course, they will end up here. Okay, so we are going to do a hit and run attack pin here. And one thing that I do find is cool is that the generated names are written on the side of the cockpit. Pretty darn cool. The squadron leader mode is going to be awesome. I am going to do a proper series on that, but I did want to just quickly show off uh, Scramble Battle of Britain here before we get into a proper series managing our whole squadron. So that's our planning phase done. We are going to commit and maintain our formation. Look at those spits. We are being shot at. Those 109s are dropping right out of the sky, heading straight for us. Now we could try to engage. I don't, wow, they just pushed right over. All right, Fritz, if you want that kind of fight, we can give you that kind of fight. We can select our target here, and as they're passing right in front of us, we are going to let rip our guns. Maybe cause some issues, hopefully hit the pilot, if at all possible. These other two spits are going to continue their turn to get onto these Stukas 6 o'clock. Yeah, something like that. No need to fire just yet. I'm hoping these 109s have built up so much energy that they are just going to really overshoot and end up behind us. They will be a problem for later. We can see our gun path where we will be firing our 303 machine guns. Again, if the 109 continues on this trajectory. Let's lock that in and go with it. Come here. Okay, he pulled up. Nice work, Fritz. Okay, so he's out of there. We'll continue. Oh, this guy's just going straight down. Oh my gosh, look how chaotic this is. We're all just verging here. Let's see you. Can we get a deflection shot at this point? We might be able to move in on their six and actually start hitting them. Yeah, let's really press the attack. It looks like the Stukas are still continuing in a line, hoping that the BF-109s will uh, get these Spitfires off them. We will order the Spitfire to fire as well. Now this game can be played with a controller, which certainly could provide some advantages for these micro adjustments I'm making. This Spit is just going to continue moving in towards the formation of Stukas and along with this one. Looks like he made it out of there. These 109s are all causing problems. Hopefully we don't get hit here. We will see, lock it in. All right, made it out of all that mess. Come on, I don't think the Stuka actually managed to get hit there. That's okay, we're still working on peeling onto his six o'clock. 
open fire, we can slow down. Don't want to completely cut the throttle, but just half it a little bit so we have, look how much time we have with that Stuka in our sights. I'm going to rip into him. This Spitty can come around as well. Let's cut the throttle a little bit to half and slowly roll in onto their six o'clock. Let's take a look at the gun path. Yeah, nothing, nothing really there to do. The Spitfire is going to turn kind of aggressively and make its way onto their six. Let's take a look at the 109s. One's peeling way up, one's way down low. This one could prove to be problematic here soon. Did we get any? Okay, Hoffman blacked out. He's fresh. So he's blacked out down here. No, this isn't Hoffman. Backer. Which one's Hoffman? Okay. The one that's moderately concerning. He's peeling up and he blacked out. Hopefully he stays blacked out. Okay, let's lock this turn in and commit to it. There we go. Hits on that Stuka. Lit him up. Oh my gosh. And we can see all the damage done to that Stuka. Critical damage left wing. Critical damage on the rudder. Now, I could still commit to engaging this Stuka here. But we could also set targets to this other Stuka, which is probably better. Start hitting the second one. Because that first one, he's probably done for. Additionally, it may be a good idea to start really... I need two of my spits to start climbing up. Yeah, Buford, start climbing, 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 because we have 109s to deal with. Because we're gonna we're gonna rip these Stukas apart. Davison, you got the Stukas. The other two spits will break off and climb. Again, we don't want to do super aggressive maneuvers so our pilots black out. But nice and easy. Hoffman up there has regained consciousness. He's still gonna be kind of dazed. This, you know, this one's a problem. Let's cut the throttle. See if we can try to uh, get these 109s to overshoot here. Commit to it. All right, rip the Stuka up. There we go. He's getting just torn to shreds over there. Oh, that was that was amazing. Lost an elevator. Lost a left wing. You can see all the damage. You can see the aircraft losing bits and pieces in the back there. Gosh, it is just really cool to look at. Um, let's take a look at our spits. And look at these 109s. I think we can slowly roll over and possibly engage that Jerry right there. Along with this one as well. We can see where we hit the target all along the line. Just slowly try to peel in on a 6. Now let's look at Davison. You have a 109 right on your 6. Now this is tricky. Do we continue to commit? Or do we try to break off? I think it may be time to break off. Full throttle. Slight turn and start climbing up. So we'll get a quick squeeze of the trigger initially, and then we're pulling out of here. It's risky, but I want to ensure a kill here. Maybe getting greedy. And this is something you really have to balance, especially when you have really experienced pilots. You're not going to want to lose them and do stupid stuff like this probably is. All right, rip them up. Okay, got hit. We got hit. Time to kind of reverse this and get on out of here. That 109 has a good amount of energy. Now, are we going to be able to turn in on him? He is absolutely our target, so let's set him as a target. He is going straight for... Straight for our guy here. Yeah, try to, try to engage if he does continue in on this track. Don't go too aggressively, though. We still want to end up behind him and possibly a shooting position. Half the throttle. And you know what? It may be best just to dip on out of here, dive aggressively. Yeah, try to dive and get on out of here. Let's take a look at the Spitfire up high. Oh, this is actually looking pretty good overall. Try to roll in on his six o'clock. Now let's check on the other 109s. We have two really in a line, and then this guy way up there. Let's focus on the two for the time being. These two low 109s. Okay, come on. Are we going to get any of that deflection shot? Okay, 
hit that 109. Beautiful. Exactly what I needed. Exactly what I needed. Cut the throttle. So we don't overshoot here. Possibly rip this Jerry open. Target him. Uh, it's going to be tricky to get a gun solution on him at this moment. Let's see. We're in danger down here, though. All right, time to start peeling up. Gosh, we may have bitten off. <laughs> bitten off way more than we can chew here. We're going to get the deflection shot. And maybe set set that Stuka as a target. He's passing right in front of you, so just take a pot shot at him. We have a damaged elevator at 109 passing right underneath us. One up high. And we're working on getting in on their six. I'd like to get on this guy's six, of course. Not sure how likely that is. We just got to play it slow. And we're... Let's make sure everyone's... Everyone's working the way they need to be. Reduce the throttle. Could reverse this, but come left. Nah, come left. Avoid slamming into the ship. All right, this is a scary turn. Things are getting <laughs> kind of hairy. And the cool part about this, I forget how long each turn is. It's like six seconds. But we will see a full replay of the entire match at the end of, end of the mission. And it's just cool seeing how fast the whole sortie or the whole fight uh, happens here. Okay, come on. Spitfire's engaging that Stuka. I think he actually hit him a little bit there. Okay, that... That 109... Probably not making the best shot... Best... Turn here. We could turn with him. We can easily outturn a 109. But it may be best to cut the throttle and dive down on this guy right here. Let's not go too aggressively. That guy's out of the fight. These two are turning to the right. And... Davison... Kind of just cruise and bank out of here. Full throttle. Full throttle. How about you? How are things going here? Continue to rip open the Stuka. I, I'm tired of looking at it. Let's really finish it off. We have a good amount of ammunition. That 109 up high is problematic. Uncoordinated. So we see this pilot has a debuff because he's he's new. Pen. Hopefully, I bet these Germans are actually rather experienced at this point. Uh, thanks to all their fighting in France and such. I wonder... Maybe pulling up here is a good idea. No, no. Keep keep on that 109. The Stukas, we should be able to take out relatively easily. We're going to get some hits on the Stuka for sure, so let's watch that. Yep, you see I'm getting hit a little bit. Perfect. And look, this 109 just pulling up. Fascinating. You are absolutely my target. Okay. You might black out here, buddy, but you're gonna... We're gonna try to get in on S6. Got a whole bunch of hits here. Watching that 109 back there. Davison lost an elevator. That's not good. Which one? Where is Davison? Where the heck are you, buddy? And uh, Davison's way back here. I wonder how he... Oh, he may have pulled too hard and ripped the elevator right off. Yeah, I should have thought about that, shouldn't I? Okay, keep on just cruising this way. Hopefully you can keep flying. I may have you just get the heck out of here. Try to disengage. Yeah, leave combat. Try to leave combat. We'll have... I mean, we've caused a good amount of damage. We may not end up shooting anything down, but I'd like to keep these guys alive. I'd feel bad already getting them killed with my poor piloting skills. Okay, track that Stuka. Rip into it. Or do we just completely switch a roo and try to climb up and get with that 109? That's what we're going to do because this guy's close. Cut the throttle. See if he'll overshoot. All right, let's see him. Okay, yeah, he's going for pinned way down there. Good to know. Keep tracking him. It's turn 11. I'm gonna try to loop around. Full throttle. Get on the six of that uh, that 109 there. 
or we can try to cut them off this way and I right hand turn. Let's do both there. Okay. 109 may be overshooting. Exactly what we want here. How's Penn? Is Penn disengaging? He's working on it. Get out of here, buddy. All right. Submit the turn. Let's go. Okay, I don't see anyone getting shot up too bad. It looks like these Stukas are going right into the drink, which is perfect. Here we go. This is what I wanted. Rip into rip into this 109 here. Nice and easy is going to do it. Can't really can't really get our guns on at this point, but we're we're working on it. Mayer opened up his canopy. One of the Germans is bailing out. Let's see. Meyer. Oh, okay. The Stuka. They're bailing out. They're trying to get out. Good. That's one plane destroyed. I'll take it. Davison, keep on running. Keep on running. And once you get the hang of it, you can go through these turns really, really fast. Okay, Pen. We'll start throttling up. Try to stay on that 109 there. And let's see, there's a 109 back here. We want to go for this guy. Killing off a lot of airspeed in this. But keep on trying to turn in on his 6 o'clock. And see, was Stuka just splashed? One destroyed. Davison escaped the battle. There we go, good. Hoffman blacked out again. <laughs> oh, buddy. Uh, poor guy. All right, keep on trying to turn and get on, on his 6 o'clock. Our Spitfire is going to whip it around here. Let's see, can we get guns in on that 109? You know, we're going to squeeze the trigger because we might get lucky. Uh, we might might get lucky here. Let's do it. Oh, we're looking good. Okay, set them as the target. Guns. Continue to try to engage here. We are going so slow. We're, we're very close to stalling. This may be a problem here. Just okay. Try to ease up on these turns a little bit. Gain some gain some airspeed. Still want to make it happen though. Still want to make it happen. It looks like we'll gain a good amount of airspeed coming out of this. Let's do it. Yes. Squeeze the triggers a little bit there. Accidentally hit the ship, maybe. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Getting guns on the 109. For a brief moment, and that's exactly what we want. Where's our other Jerry friend? Over here. Keep trying to whip our Spitfire around. Okay, we're being shot at. Ugh. Okay, missed with our 303s here. This time, though. Better better pass slightly. The 109 continues on that uh, that trajectory there. Got a little bit, of, a few hits there. Just want to try to maximize it. Davison. Yeah, try to dip out of here. Go. Oh boy, it's scary. Okay, oh shoot. Davison shot down a Luftwaffe plane. Okay, pen critical damage. Lost an aileron. Oh, he's he's done. He's done. Try to see what you can do. Just spray over there. Maybe time to bail out, and then we'll have uh, Buford here disengage. That being said, he's right on this Jerry six o'clock. Should be able to get some good hits here. Come on. Okay, doing pretty good. Gage. It's heading straight. Yeah, that's our target. I'm trying to track him here. Hard to make out exactly where he's heading. All right, Pen. That's our target. Try to just rip into that guy before he gets close. 
you're critically damaged. As long as you don't die, that's okay. Engage them. Head on real close. Let them have it. Cut the throttle. Hopefully avoid a collision here. And if we collide, we get to see some really cool effects. <laughs> uh, the, the collision, again, the damage modeling in this is pretty darn cool. Okay, this this guy really isn't a problem. I think it's probably time to disengage. We'll do this head-on pass and then get the heck out of here. How many bombers? The Luftwaffe has. Let's see. I think. Okay, that's Davison. He's he's running. Which is smart, frankly. We could keep this fight up, I suppose. I just Okay, start throttling up, maintain our energy, try to pull up with them. Trying to pull up with them. Save your ammo. I am worried about this. It, we may narrowly avoid... Oh, gosh. this The potential for a collision is huge. Okay, let's see it. Oh, he ripped our wing off! Oh, no. Okay. Pen. Hopefully you actually bail out. Cut your throttle. Okay, he's gonna to try to bail out. We're gonna to try to get out of here. All right, we only have one Spitfire left. Okay, getting hits on that 109 at the end. All right, let's see it. Ripped him up, there we go. Looks like uh, we popped his radiator. Pen bailed out, pen bailed out. Good, he's out of the plane. That's exactly what we wanted. Backer, cool radiator leak. That's a death sentence for a 109. So we've now shot down two Stukas. Two Stukas and a BF-109 for the loss of one Spitfire. Not too bad, frankly. We are going to try to dive down and get the heck out of here. This 109, it's done for. It is done for. This one here, wonder how, how are you looking, buddy? This one looks relatively intact. All right, let's try to swing around. Okay, this will put us into a stall. Don't definitely don't want that. All right. Yeah, brake hard right. Okay, that 109 back there is absolutely a problem. Stall warning. Yeah, great. Okay, do it. Try to get out of here. Oh, don't hit us too bad. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Bail out, bail out, bail out. <laughs> what a what a hard mission. Okay. Yeah, I that that guy was able to get his guns on us pretty darn good, wasn't he? Look at our poor Spitfire. Just absolutely obliterate. The good thing is, Buford here is still alive. Well, now we'll see if we are able to, uh, jeez, if we're able to bail out. Come on, buddy. Commit to it. Bail out. Hey, he's popped the canopy. He's still alive somehow. Come on. Cut the throttle if you can. I mean, there's no way this plane, I'm surprised the engine's still going. Oh, no. Oh, he got out. Obviously, the game's early access, so, I mean, he's just, he's looking a little stiff right now. Clear aircraft, out of play, pilot lives must resolve. Let's see if he's actually alive. I'm gonna pop a chute. There we go, come on, deploy before you hit the water. Come on, oh, thank goodness. Bloop, all right. Wow, that was actually nuts. Let's watch this here. Let's see, dead pilots, results sufferable. Uh, at least there's that. We destroyed two fighters and damaged one. Two f the bombers were destroyed. All three pilots managed to survive. No pilots were dead, as far as I can tell. Only one plane managed to escape the battle, though. So you know what? I, uh, I'll take it. That actually was not too horrible. My pilot survived, which was what's important to me. 
But yeah, this was really just a preview. Once again, I'm going to start a proper series, you know, doing my roleplay thing. Gosh, this is just horrific back here. <laughs> that 109 just absolutely tore that Spitfire to shreds. But yeah, this is a very fun game. Definitely check it out. It reminds me a lot of a tabletop game I used to play a whole bunch of called X-Wing, which is a, obviously a Star Wars tabletop game where you plan out your turns. You don't know what your enemy is going to do. And this is quite similar. Plus seeing the battle play out at the very end is really darn cool. And plus there's a save replay. So let's go ahead and save that. All right, folks, that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off and I'll see you all on the next one.